Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and thanks for coming back again. I'm so excited to see you. I'm especially excited because I created this fall makeup and quite honestly warm colors aren't usually my thing but let me know in the comment section if you like the warm fall color I look I have especially. I think it turned out really well and I'll be sharing every detail with you. But before I get into that, I did want to show you the outfit and jewelry that I'm wearing today. Mostly it's the outfit. Our wonderful fall PJs. And I think these are absolutely so, so darling. And they are super comfy too. They're not just pretty and they're not starchy feeling like some PJs. They feel soft and cuddly and just absolutely fall wonderful. Plus, Alan really liked them, which is always a good thing because he hardly ever compliments me. So I thought that was pretty neat. And if you're not yet a member of the 50 Plus Beauty family, I hope you'll consider subscribing. It is totally free. You don't get emails from me. You don't get bugged. You just get email notifications of my future videos when you click that little bell. And if you could give this video a thumbs up, that would help it in the YouTube algorithm and I would really appreciate it. So in the next few minutes, I have a lot of great fall makeup to share with you. And so let me take all this off and we'll get started. Okay, here I am up close and personal. And I did want to tell you, I have my skincare on this morning plus my LTMD skincare SPF 46. I like this in the clear, but I usually use it in the tinted. I really like that better. It plays very well under makeup. And I also have a fabulous scent on. And as we're going into the warm coziness of fall, it is wonderful to just be enveloped in a beautiful fragrance. And I'm a floral girl. And so if you're not a floral person, you won't love this. But this is Joe Malone Wild Bluebell Cologne. It is one of my favorites. It is amazing. Ah, oh, that is like heaven in a bottle. It is amazing. Okay, I always do my eyes first to avoid fallout over makeup on my face. And let's start with this primer, this lid primer. It is a MAC primer in the color Soft Ochre, which is a wonderful, wonderful shade. It's kind of a tannish shade. And I like this because look how discolored my eyelids are on both sides. But once I apply this, it really nulls it out and gives a great base to the eyeshadow. I sometimes use my fingers on it just to kind of blend it in a little bit. The warmth of our fingers really helps meld it into the skin a bit more, which is always helpful. Okay, now to do my eyes in a very warm fall set of colors, I'm going to be using this Urban Decay Naked Reloaded Palette. Look at those gorgeous fall colors, absolutely beautiful. And I'll be going in at first with this color called Blur. And we'll be putting that in the crease and over parts of the eyelid and even under the eye a little bit. Start in the outside and I always like to pull my eyeshadow up a little bit to give myself a little bit of a cat eye winged look out there. My eyes do droop and it does help to have that. There we go. I'll do the other side. Again, pull out the outside corner to uplift that eye. I am absolutely loving these PJs. They are so soft and cozy. <laughs> they are just super comfortable. Plus, I just think they're so pretty in terms of the fall colors. Very, very nice. Now I'm going to try something new. In fact, I'm trying a few new things in this, in this video. And what I'm trying new is that I'm going to take the same color blur and I'm just going to put it in underneath my eye to kind of tie the upper and the lower eye together. Do it on the other side. And don't worry if you're kind of low out here. You should be exactly even with your eyelash going up but we're going to be fixing that in just a minute. And just kind of bring the upper part into the upper eyeshadow. Next, I'm going to be going into my standard brown color, which this is a medium brown that I usually use that in the crease. And again, we'll start at the outside and pull it out a little bit to give you that winged, that winged eyeshadow look. And just bring it in very softly. Maybe a little more. These Urban Decay shadows are just beautiful. 
They don't have a lot of fallout, and yet they have a great color payoff, and they blend well too, which is great. We'll go back into that color called Bucked, and we'll hit it on this side. We're trying to get a little darker in the outside corner, and then bring it up, and then just bring it in. We'll go back in with the Bucked again. I think I'm a little unbalanced in terms of the color payoff between my eyes. Now I'm going to go in with that new technique, and that is to take a smaller kind of a crease brush, and we're going to take that bucked again. Then we're just going to go in under the eye, just very gently. Do the other side. And pull it up. Next we're going to start warming it up, making it look a little more fall with this color called Boundaries, which is right there. As you can see, it has a little bit of orange to it. And we're just going to take it on the outside corner, pull it up, and then we're going to put it all across the crease there. Very pretty, warm fall color. Go back into Boundaries. Get that outside edge of the lid. Pull it up. Spin more concentration on the outside of that edge of that winged area because that's where you want the most color is the area I'm in right now. Now I'm going to warm it up even more. I'm going to live dangerously with this color called Retro. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it a little bit in the outer corner but then just dust the edge of that brown just to give it a warmer vibe. Again, going back into that retro. Kind of like giving yourself a little halo along that brown. Now to redefine that top edge, I'm going to go in with this color called Bribe. I'll just go along here. Okay, now as you can see, I'm too wide on the outside edges. Both of those should go straight up from the lower lash line. And it's very easy to fix. I just take a little makeup wipe here. I like to kind of fold it to where it has a straighter edge. I think I used this one this morning already, but anyway, we'll go ahead and use it. But we're just going to go down and up you see how that gives us a very lifted edge? We'll do the same thing on this side. So that gives you a lifted look, and we'll just go ahead and blend out the edges a little bit. So it's a very soft, warm look. Now I like this, but I don't think it's quite orange enough. So we're going to go in with the Retro, which is the orangest color there. And we're just going to go ahead and put it in the crease a little more heavily. And on the outside of the lid, Okay, now we're getting that nice, that nice fall color. Now I'm going to add a little bit of the orangey color, the retro, under my eye in the corner there, just to bring that fall vibe down to the lower lash line. Now I still have to do liner, but before I do that, I'm going to go in with my water liner, and I love this, and I use it in most every makeup. I take a little L'Oreal Voluminous Smoldering Black, I think it's called, and you're just getting that waterline area just to make the lashes look a little more dense and thick. I have that white space there, see? And I, I don't want that because it doesn't look good. So there's that top waterline. Okay, next I'm going to do some eyeliner, but I'm just going to use shadow eyeliner here because I want the look to be soft and smoky. And what I'll do is I'll take this dark brown color called End Game, and basically I'll just pat it along the top of the eyelash, all along there. Then I'm going to do a little tiny wing at the end. Just kind of wing it out here. Okay, there is that side. Now I'm going to go in and do the other side with the end game. 
the mirror over here, obviously. I hope you can see this. Then I'll go ahead and do the wing on that other side. I'm just going to go straight up from that lower lash line. Right here, we'll just stamp a little wing right there. Now I'll go in with my wipe again, just to do one last, one last touch up here. Let me narrow out that wing just a little bit. Okay, next I'm going to do mascara, and I always go in with my little metal curved lash comb just to straighten out those eyelashes. And then I go in with my Shiseido eyelash curler, and there is none better. This has kind of a reputation on YouTube. A lot of women love this one. There we go. Get the other side. And always lift your elbow. <laughs> I can't see you, but lift your elbow because that makes your lashes curl a little more. Okay, there we are. Now, let's go in with this Ilia Mascara. This is called Fullest Volumizing Mascara. And I am not familiar with this brand. I got sent it by the brand. I'm excited. So there's a nice little head on that end. Nice and thick and fluffy. And I know I want lots of volume, so I'm going to go in and kind of go back and forth, get the tops, and then I'll brush it from the bottom. And we'll see if it gives good volume. You kind of want to brush your lashes together like that, scruffle them, I call it, because that does give you a little bit of clumping, which you really need to give you more width and volume. Okay, now that the eyes are done, it's time to do the face, and I'm going to show you two products that I really think I love. The one I love the most is the Pore Refiner Primer. This is from Dr. Brandt, and here is his Needles No More, No More Baggage. And I'm not quite as sure about this one because this is supposed to firm up under eye bags for a day. And this one is supposed to reduce your pores and this really works. And if you would like a video about how I have been reducing my pore size lately, I would love to show you because I've been trying some new products. I know they say you can't really reduce pores, but through cleaning them out and wearing a good primer, you can really minimize them a lot. And uh, I would love to do that video if you're interested, let me know. Okay, let's start with this Needles No More, No More Baggage. And wouldn't that be nice to have needles no more? It's a little tough, but it's just pink there. I don't know if you can see that, a little pink, little pink worm. And you basically take that and you put it in this under eye bag area. Take a look at them. They are significant. It says to pat it on. So we're going to let that sit and firm up the bags. It's weird because you can really kind of feel it doing it. It's really strange. In fact, let me do a little bit more. I think I am starting to really love this stuff. Just a little bit more. You don't want to overdo it. And again, it's just that little pink, little pink cream there. Okay, while that's tightening up, I'm going to go ahead and apply this Pore Refiner Primer from Dr. Brandt. And I love this stuff, like really love it. Okay, look at my pores now to begin with. I don't know if you can see them very well, but I will go ahead and put this on. It's a mattifying primer that does reduce the look of your pores like pretty significantly. It's kind of amazing in that way. And I'll just go ahead and smooth it on my face. But look how you can already see that my skin is getting more even looking. It's really amazing. I'd love to try it on my wrinkly neck. I don't know. Probably won't do anything down there. But there it is on my face. Now I'm going to go ahead and put a little on my forehead. And I'll just smooth it again with my fingers. But look how that totally just nulls down my skin. The mattifying aspect really does help, but I think it's more than that. There's something in this that just makes your, your pores look like they don't exist anymore. Put a little down here again. But that is how that looks, and it just gives you an instant look of flawless skin. I am so impressed with Dr. Brandt's Pore Refining Primer, and I'm not sure about the eye bag, the No More Bags. Do you think it's gotten better? You know, maybe, maybe it has. 
I don't know. Yeah, I think it has. I think that has really helped too. And I can feel the firmness in my under eye area, which I usually don't have, which is just wonderful. Okay, let's get into foundation. And this is the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear Foundation, one of my absolute favorites. And it is in the color 230 Buff W. And basically what I'll do is I'll just shake this up a little bit and then I'll just put it all over my skin. Boom, boom, boom. A little bit on the forehead. Oh, I probably got too much up there. Ah, it's kind of scary. Now what I do is I love this BK Beauty 101 foundation brush. It's out of stock there a lot of the time, but it is wonderful if you can get it. And I'll take some of this Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, which I've used for years. And I guess I'll just start down here. Just buff, buff, buff. Buff, buff, buff. Lately, I've been using the Bare Minerals Powder Foundation, and I had never really used that before, and I like it. So it feels a little weird to be using real cream foundation because lately, oh gosh, I know I've gotten too much up there. I'll take some of that off. Lately, I'm just not used to anything but the powder, and I think the powder looks very natural. And I would say this is a medium coverage, but it is buildable. I think that makeup is so, so beautiful and it is very long wearing. I would compare it to the double wear, the Estee Lauder double wear, in terms of the wear time. It goes all day long and probably till midnight. It's amazing. Okay, there we are, the foundation is on. Hey, now I think the under eye bags are looking better, but I still do have black spots by the side of my nose, and I love this. This is the L'Oreal Crayon, I can't remember what it's called, but this is in light to medium, and look how it just really softened the black spots. It doesn't get rid of them, but it does make them a lot less noticeable. And this used to be just an option when I was younger, but now that I'm older, I use this every single time I make up because I think it really does help out there. And on my under eyes, I'm going to go in first with this Pixie by Petra. It's a peach corrector. That's how it looks. It's only like $12, and I absolutely love it. I get about a year's use out of these things. It's amazing. I do have a little vein there. There we go. Then I use my finger just to give it some heat to blend it in a little better. And then I have my scar here. So that's how that looks all blended in. Next, I'm going to go in with my concealer. This is the best one I found for not making you look all like, you know, an alligator under your eyes, is the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear All Over Concealer. And this is in the color 250. And it's probably a buff or a neutral. And I always put it right here on my chin, a little dot there. Then I have black marks beside my nose. So I want to blend those in. And then basically, I just saw somebody do a lot. So let's do a lot and see how that works. I'm in a really risky mood today, I guess. <laughs> but you know, if the most risky thing I do today is apply a lot of under eye concealer, I'm probably okay. That means my life is pretty darn safe. Ooh. So that is how that looks. Now I'll go in here and just blend that in. That looks nice, I can't really tell the difference. Then we'll blend in these splotches. Then we'll get the chin. And I just have a big divot that goes in underneath my lip. And so I always like to bring that forward a little bit. Okay, there we are. And most people would go in now to set it with a loose powder. And I'm going to get back into that, but I'm absolutely loving my old standby, the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrushed Flawless Finish Powder. And I really think that of every powder I've ever used, this is absolutely the best one. I'm trying to find a powder brush here. Do I not have one? No, I don't. I'll be right back. Okay, this is the BK Beauty 106, and I'll just go ahead and dip in there. And then we'll go ahead and set the under eyes. Go, go across the nose there. A little bit down here in the neck wrinkle area. Then we'll go up on the forehead and just get the shiny areas. I really think that this does a great job of blurring out your imperfections. I really think it does give you kind of an airbrush look, which is wonderful. Okay, now we're going to go into blush and 
This would be my safe bet, you know, kind of an autumn shade there. But this is my live dangerously bet. And this is Rare Beauty. And it is a cream blush. And it is in a definite kind of a fallish type color. At least it's dark. And so I will go ahead and go in and we'll try it. And basically I'll just put it along the upper part of my cheekbone. And then we'll just buff, buff, buff. Buff, buff, buff. This is maybe a little rosy. Now I'll go in again on the top of that cheekbone and just buff, buff, buff. Buff, buff, buff. Buff, buff, buff. Okay, there we are. I think that's very pretty. Now it's time to go in with some contour and I've returned to this great little palette that I love. It is the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. I haven't used it for about a year, but I just picked it up recently and I'm loving it again. Here is a little BK Beauty brush. No, this is a Charlotte Tilbury powder sculpt brush. We'll just go in, soak in your cheeks. I'll do the other side. A little bit on the nose. I have kind of a wide tip on my nose, so I just want to put it at the, at the end. Then I'll go in here. Try to sculpt that area a little more. Ooh, went a little high there. Put it under here so it gives you a good shadow. This is a very natural looking contour. I don't think you could go wrong with it, but I always go in and buff everything out with this Real Techniques sculpting brush because you don't want to look like you're wearing chocolate bars. Go over here. looks pretty good. Okay, everything looks good so far, but I'm thinking I'm a little bit too pink in my cheeks, and so I am going to go in with this L'Oreal Age Perfect Radiant Blush, just a little bit over the top. Oh yes, I like that much better. Definitely has that autumn vibe to it, whereas the other really didn't. For some reason I thought it would, but it sure didn't. Now I'm going to get into the lips and I want to show you a great combination that I've been absolutely loving. I'm going to go in first with this lip liner, which is the L'Oreal Color Riche Lip Liner in the color, I think it's Matte Stermind. Yes, it is Matte Stermind, 112 Matte Stermind. We'll just go in. It's just kind of a light taupey brown. Okay, there is that L'Oreal Lip Pencil. And it is kind of an iconic one. It's nice to have. Now, this lipstick is what I really wanted to show you because I'm loving this. This is the Sigma Infinity Point lipstick in the color Deja Vu. And they call it Infinity Point because it does have a definite point on it. Although I've used it so much that the point is getting a little worn down, unfortunately. But I'll show you. It is just the perfect supermodel 90s brown. And I absolutely love this lipstick and I've been wearing it like crazy. It is the perfect 90s supermodel matte brown. They always used to wear that in the 90s, the supermodels, and we all did too. And now I have a decision to make because I really do love the matte look of this. I think it's very, very beautiful. But I think I will go in with my favorite Maybelline gloss. This is the Lifter Gloss in the color Crystal. And it has a very bronzy look to it, so maybe it will add something nice and fall-like to our lips. Ooh, I do like that. I really do like that. That is just beautiful. Okay, now after you finish your makeup, it's important to kind of step back and kind of see what you think. And I think it looks good, except that my neck looks a little white. So I am going to go in with this Lumi Bronzette on my neck and I'll just get a big fluffy bronzing brush. Oh, here it is, my fluffy bronzing blush. This is a very easy to use bronzer. Oh yeah, that helped because you can't mess it up. It is not very, not very pigmented at all. Probably went a little wild on it. I think I'll go ahead and just kind of buff it across my face just to kind of bring everything together. 
Well, thank you for being with me to watch my application of my new fall makeup. Absolutely love it. And again, if you would like to see a demonstration in another video about the Dr. Brandt Pore Refiner Primer or also his Needles No More, No More Baggage to help solve under eye bags, I would love to show you, but do let me know if you'd be interested in seeing that. And I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And this one I'll get to very quickly, but I think meditation is so important. And I've been reading over and over and over again, actually listening to two audiobooks. One is called Superhuman by Habit. And that first audiobook, which I probably heard 15 times now, I listened to it over and over again. The author recommended the book, The Willpower Instinct. And he mentioned that he never really saw the benefit in meditation until he read The Willpower Instinct. And it's a lot of scientific information about what helps us develop great habits and have wonderful willpower to resist temptations. And so after listening to that second audiobook, I started meditation. And it said start small, so I started with like one minute a day, and then I moved to two, and then to five. And now I'm setting my cell phone for five minutes with the option to do another five minutes and I'm easily doing 10 minutes a day, and I think the benefits are beautiful. And I'll link those two audiobooks below because I think they would be fabulous for just about anyone, no matter the age. But what I wanted to tell you is that I have been looking at different ways to do meditation, and one of the ways is called the heart coherence technique. And basically what you do, it's designed to help you open your heart, go with the flow, love people more. And what you do is you breathe in and out evenly, very slowly, like, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And as you're gently breathing in and out, you actually see the breaths going into your heart and out of your heart, like you're inhaling love and you're exhaling love. And they say that during the heart coherence meditation, it's helpful while you're doing it to think about people that you really love and appreciate in your life. And it's funny, when you start doing that, you'll start with just like one person and before you know it, you have everyone that's in your life pretty much on the list and you're basically sending them love and good feelings. It is absolutely wonderful and I'll link a good website, the Heart Coherence website, to where you can learn to do that if you'd be interested in it. Let me know in the comment section if you also enjoy meditation and tell me some of the benefits that you have experienced. I would love to hear about that. Well, thank you for being with me this morning as I created this warm, cozy fall makeup. And you know, the seasons are changing. We're moving from the heat of summer into fall. And I wish you and your family and your friends an absolutely beautiful fall season. Let's enjoy every day of it together. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.